Google wants our eyes and our brains. It's time for... Hello and welcome to AJAZ Tech. I'm your host, Alex Zarnowski. I'd like to remind you that AJAZ Tech is part of AJAZ Networks. Please be sure to visit AJAZNetworks.com for all of our latest shows and blogs, including Cinema Clash, The Salinor Show, and Internet Amazings. While Apple stock has been soaring, almost reaching the $1,000 mark, and well on its way to becoming the first trillion dollar business ever, companies like Bank of America and EA have been stinking up the market. Over 250,000 voters chimed in and voted for the annual Worst Company in America Award, hosted by The Consumerist. According to the announcement on the voting page, and I quote, After more than 250,000 votes, the consumerist readers ultimately decided that the type of greed exhibited by EA, which is supposed to be making the world a more fun place, is worse than Bank of America's avarice, which some would argue is the entire point of operating a bank. I can name some examples of issues I've had with EA lately. Two games which I've downloaded and expected to have some fun playing were Battlefield 3 Aftershock and The Simpsons Tapped Out. Tapped Out was removed to, and I quote, overwhelmingly positive response from gamers. I don't care what their excuse was, the fact is that they're still ill-prepared to release these games in the first place. I've also heard numerous complaints from the Sims community. Apparently, EA is pushing products that force you to use social features in order to unlock functionality. And here's the real kicker, they're launching a stuff pack dazzled by Katy Perry crap. Wait a minute. I thought the point of playing The Sims was to get away from the real world. If they had any sense, they'd create their own superstar and toss her to the dogs. In other gaming news, I asked Steve O'Claus for an Apple-branded gaming controller a few years ago, but it never came. According to Anantech's iPad review, there is insider knowledge that a gaming controller has been in development. It only makes sense that they would do something like this now that Steve isn't around to say the touchscreen isn't already the best input method, and that by adding extra peripherals, the product is already dead on arrival. Either way, I want something that is fully compatible with most games that require a controller-like interface. Infinity Blade's control methods can't get any better. TV apps are a fragmented mess. It's up to cooperation of the cable provider and the channel to coexist peacefully. Apps like HBO Go or Show Anytime are complicating mobile television watching. For example, if you have a subscription to HBO, you can use the HBO Go app on supported devices, but only if you have an account associated with select cable providers like Xfinity, Verizon, or Cox. To use the Verizon Fios TV functionality on an Xbox, you have to be a Verizon Fios subscriber. At home, we are subscribed to the plethora of HBO channels and Showtime. We obviously get TNT and NBC and TBS, but can't log in to watch anything because our cable provider is local. They represent the little guy, a non-supersized cable provider. This is where something like a Slingbox sounds like a great idea. Get that and the $30 Sling Player app and you're all set. I just really hope major cable companies give in to whatever Steve Jobs has cracked. I'm sure the experience would be simple, focused, and far from complicated. Finally, Google has revealed Project Glass to the world, and Google wants you to live life in harmony with their services while wearing glasses. Augmented reality glasses. The concept video titled One Day gives an excellent demo of what the device hopes to do. The world would practically light up as you move through it. If you are meeting someone, you could get their location and distance to the destination. And if you are traveling to meet up, you would use a virtual Google Maps interface that implements GPS to guide you there. Once you reach your destination, you could check on how far away your friend is located, and while you're waiting for him in, let's say, the bookstore, take a few photos of the books you wish to read in the future and share them with your Google Plus circles. That's just a brief example of how powerfully this technology can be integrated into your life. It would utilize the best technology we have today, such as accelerometers, gyroscopes, compasses, GPS, cellular antennas, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and if you think about it, you could utilize NFC if you go in for a kiss and remember who that person is in the morning. It's rumored that the glasses will cost anywhere from $300 to $500, as reported a few months ago. Well, that's all for this episode of Age As Tech. Got Stitcher? We're on it, so get it. 
Stitcher is an award-winning provider of news talk and radio for your mobile phone. Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. You can find all of our podcasts, including Cinema Clash and The Saliner Show, at ajaznetworks.com. Follow me at twitter.com slash ajaztech and search for my name on Google+. You can email me at ajaztech at gmail.com. You can find this show and more at Ajaz Networks. Originally different media for your personal taste.